UFC 276. Israel Adesanya versus Jared Canyon here, main event, post fight. Um, just watched it. Um, really good fight. Um, as I knew it would go, I knew we would see Izzy basically for five rounds using the lateral movement, staying out of danger, <coughs> using a lot of leg kicks, a lot of jabs, a lot of leg kicks, a lot of jabs, fakes, body kicks, kicks straight out of the middle, and high kicks as well. That's what we saw rinse and repeat basically for five rounds. Um, there was clinch moments. Um, Izzy looks good in the clinch, looks strong in the clinch as well, her design. But really, Canyon here, he has the power threat, but he didn't really have much else. He had, a, he had his moments here and there. There's a point you had Izzy against the fence in the clinch and he was landing loads of shots. Uh, he did hit Izzy a few times with the, the jab and a few leg kicks, but it wasn't enough. Like his legs, his legs are conditioned. It's not like he's not fighting against Anderson Silva. He took out his legs. Izzy's uh, moves a lot more. Um, so he wasn't really managed to get off really. Um, Izzy basically stayed stayed away out of danger. I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, this he fought safe, but at the end of the day, Jared Canyon here does have nukes in his hand and he's coming down from heavyweight and he has carried a power with him. Um, but Izzy looked good. Uh, Izzy looked brilliant. Uh, it was a really it was basically another masterclass by Izzy in my opinion. Stayed away from danger. Hardy got hit. Jared, Jared was bruised up. Izzy looked fine. He's probably gone to the club tonight with um, Bolkanovski. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen my other video on <laughs> Bokonovsky or Howard Holloway. Um, but he's look really good. He looked sharp. He looked good, um, like he always does. Crowd's booing, but I, don't know, I wouldn't boo that. He's putting up a mic. It's a masterclass. He is avoiding danger. He wants to be able to talk normally in 10 years when he's finished done fighting. So Izzy fought a really good fight, really smart fight. Props to Izzy. He defends the title again, I think for the sixth time now. So he's really, he's four defences away from um, from Anderson's record. So he's doing big things. Um, so what's next? Um, uh, Jared should probably face Sean Strickland. That's, that's probably a good fight. They should probably face each other. That'd be a good fight. Um, they both didn't win on the card, so they should fight each other. As for Izzy, it looks like it's going to be Alex Pereira. Um, as I said in my previous video, Alex Pereira's left hook is absolutely deadly. So <clears throat> that's something Izzy needs to be mindful of. But I haven't. But the fight that they had, Izzy was handling his business versus Alex before he was caught, and he said he made an error. The thing is, the way Izzy moves, and if Izzy's aware of something in the way he moves, I don't see him getting caught by that left hook. I just don't see it. The way he moves and he fights, he won't get caught on that leg, left hook. The only thing is, Alex is really long as well. This is going to be a if they two fight, it's going to be a close fight. Um, a close fight. I probably see Izzy probably to try some of his wrestling out. This is the time to try your wrestling and take him down for a good three rounds. Um, but yeah, but we'll see. It's going to be a good fight. But yeah, Israel Adesanya defends his title again. As I thought, what would happen? I said it in my I said it in the prediction, and it didn't happen. So. Yeah, so Israel Adesanya defended his title. Next prelim is probably Alex Pereira, which would be a very, very interesting match. I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be a big fight. I'm looking forward to that one. But yeah, uh, Israel defends and Jared just came up short. So that's from me. That's it from me. Like, subscribe and leave a comment.